280 cases land in Dublin Airport every four minutes. If you get 1% of that over a week, it's a lot of cases. Well, if I'm looking for a dragon, someone has experience in bringing products to market. I'll be looking for uh, 100,000 for 20%. See what, how we work from there. I'd love that, to get investment. Oh, yeah, it'd be deadly, yeah. Hello, Dragons. My name is John O'Hare. I have a startup company and it's called Away. I designed and patented a new self weighing suitcase that weighs the touch of a button. I'm looking for 20% for €100,000. How I came up with the idea was I, um, my daughter has scoliosis in her back, COVID to the spine, and uh, she was weighing her case on uh, bathroom scales and uh, I, she couldn't weigh it properly. And I said, Emma, I said, I'll solve the problem for you. I'll, I'll uh, make a case for you. So about three or four days after I made the case for her, I showed it to her. And she said, uh, oh, that she was delighted with the product. I went and patented it, applied for a patent, which I have two patents on now. We're a in the pipeline. If I can pack the clothes into it, I'll, I'll show you how it works. As John prepares to demonstrate the technology, the Dragons must weigh up the idea of investing €100,000 for a 20% share in his self-weighing suitcase. It was a confident start by this serial inventor, but the den can be an intimidating place for the entrepreneur. John will now invite his financial advocate and luggage expert, David, to join him in the den. Dragons, I brought an advocate with me today to explain the financial part of it. So, Dragons, if I could bring David in to let you, David, explain that. So, David, please. This is David, Dragons. In the first year, we anticipate being able to achieve a 400 euro turnover, 400,000 euro turnover. And on the profit margin, which we built into the product, based on landing cost, manufacturing cost, everything taken into account, would land in the, into an um, island at 96 euros. 55 euros retail, that's including a 40% margin for the retailer, profit on return, and 23% VAT. In the first year, out of the 400,000, we're estimating about 33, 34,000 euro profit. The second year, at 1.5 million, we're estimating 185 to 190,000 profit. And in the third year, based on 2.5 million turnover, we would anticipate it being near the 300,000 euro profit. But I do believe in the product. I see the advantage of it. I've used one um, for my own self weigh case to go around to see for workability and found it extremely helpful. Where are you ma manufacturing the case, John? I'm just a startup company, so I, I didn't manufacture any cases. I just made a few prototypes. Manufacturing base would be the scales are made in one part in China, the cases are made in another and assembled in the third plant. The reason being we're not wanting anybody to have the total knowledge. And the third plant, which I know extremely well, I've dealt with cases from this factory for very, very many years. I trust them that they'll assemble it and send it out to us. Just to demonstrate, for example, that's the case which I'm manufacturing now and supplying to retailers in the UK and Europe. That's the one that they're using to lift up at the moment. This one here is the way you weigh them at the moment. It doesn't make sense. Tell us about the patent, because that's everything here. Right. I have a patent for Ireland, I have a patent for the UK, I have another one coming down the track as well. Well, sorry, now, you sorry. don't have a patent. Uh, when did you apply for it? Oh, I have the patent uh, uh, seven years. All right, OK. What the patent was granted on was static electricity passing through the product so it couldn't damage electronics. Where are you as regards to the US? I have a new one coming through the pipeline I can't really talk about at the moment. It's the newer version of it. When you say a newer version, that means you're not happy with the existing... Oh, I'm very happy with it. It's just that for it to go into America, you have to have a totally new one again. You can't go in with one that's already on the market. If you, you patent in America, if you go there with one that's already over here, it has to have be reapplied for in America. And also, there is an addition to it that he wants to put into the new one for America. We just don't want somebody seeing the idea and thinking, ooh, good idea. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Lots of really big international brands in, in the whole luggage area. Yeah. You know, Samsonite and, and, and various brands. So you're looking to launch a new brand in luggage that has this as a specific enhancement. Yes. Is, that, is that the plan? Yeah. Yep. To, to okay. do solely self-weigh luggage. It would be very easy for John to have gone to Samsonite and sold the patent or the idea to them. Mm -hmm. But then he's going to get a small part of a big fish. Of course, if he went straight to a luggage manufacturer, he wouldn't need you, David. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah. uh, all I can bring to the table uh, is contacts. I'm not here. Uh, John's the owner of the business. John's the guy who's put his money in. I'm here to help him if I can. So you said money in. What kind of money is in at the moment? I spent about 22,000 at the moment on me patents at the moment. Seems like a blindingly obvious thing, like all fantastic ideas are. Yeah. I just would like to understand a little bit more. There'd be nothing to stop somebody making a case that's self-weighing. That doesn't yeah. infringe your patent necessarily. No. But they have to figure out a way of protecting against protecting us, static. Yeah. Static, yes. I've seen a case in China seven, eight years ago, which was classed as a self-way case. You still had to lift it up because it was all part and parcel of the handle. And again, it defeats the whole object of what John's come up with. John, could we have a look at one of the uh, patents? Oh. Patented technology is very rare in the den. John's self-weighing invention is already patent granted in Ireland and Europe. He's patent pending in the United States. Well, what worries me is you're, you're, you're talking about uh, getting into the branded suitcase game and trying to sell it, I mean, as opposed to licensing it. If you were to just to license it, how much is, the, how much is just the weighing mechanism? Don't hold me on it, but I'd say you could be talking about six euro. Four to six euro. He's, yeah. he's nearly spot on. Six point one five. Yeah. Per case. Per case. Yeah. You're restricting me on my choice of suitcase. I'm very picky about my suitcases. You know, I have to have the right compartments in it. Right. It yeah. has to be the right weight. It has to have great wheels. It has to turn. Right. Yeah. Um, like a lady wearing <laughs> Valentino shoes is not going to drag a sort of that oh, black well, sack we, around we, on wheels. You know what we I mean? Won't have that. Well, in saying that, it can be done. What we've done is for the benefit of the pitch and for the mass market, because that's where we, we want to get quite a lot of the mass market, we've gone for the, the super lightweight with the item built on. My instinct here is it's a great idea. And if, if I had had a light bulb moment yeah. and uh, invented this, I would be licensing it to existing suitcase manufacturers. manufacturers. You're right. We, we could be limiting the marketplace. At the end of the day, the product is self-weigh luggage. And the brand would be nice to see it out there rather than part of Samsonite, where it's part of 300, 400 cases, options they have. This would be, in its own right, the case. Thank you for coming into the den. Thank you. This is much, very yeah. exciting uh, yeah. for all five of us. It's very rare you get uh, a patent that we sometimes refer to as a war patent. Why it's called a war patent is it's so good yeah. Everybody's going to go to war over it. Oh, right. Right? You would get a bidding war if this is as good. Now, I haven't yeah. seen your US patent. Right. You would get a bidding war because there's a huge advantage to the first one that gets to market with this. Yes. You know? Yeah. And, um, and you would get a lot of money up front, perhaps, never yeah. mind the royalty. We already have had a conversation at one of the shows with Samsonite. They approached us, as did Ricardo in America. But at that stage, we said no. It was coming to market because that's the way John wanted it at the time. Yeah. But I can see the advantage of that way. Um, that's John's decision. Sometimes when the opportunity is that big, it just requires so much money to get it off the ground. I mean, you're asking for 100,000 uh, euro yeah. today, but how big do you see the, the, the need for, for cash up front to really make this fly? I estimated about 97,000 euros to get it physically made and on the market. But that doesn't give you any opening stock. No, I was say, just getting the product made, and then from then onwards, it's about 70,000 US dollars per container. And that'll get you into a tiny percentage of the luggage stores around the world? Correct. I would just be really concerned that you won't be able to scale. The working capital requirements are enormous to hit this market. The working capital, from that point of view, with an invoice discounter, once you've got an order, they'll fund it wherever it's coming from in the world. Yeah, but you need, you need the orders. That's the first word. You've got to get something made first. Yeah. 
show them an ex exact product that they're going to get. You really should do the numbers on this because the idea that you get into the case manufacturing business and take on these huge players in the world, you know, it could take decades to, to do that. Whereas, you know, as Gavin says, you get one manufacturer on board, you're suddenly in 5,000 outlets around the world. If you're just talking about pure finances, yeah. the licensing route seems better, but you're against that, I, I, I gather. I am in a way, yeah, because as David said, the, it, we want to just bring it on the market as a self weighing luggage. You are the king, you are the emperor. Right? Yeah, but All is what you need is somebody capable of riding shotgun with you in those very high-level negotiations. I understand you, yeah. It's just getting someone to open the doors for you with those type of people as well. Yeah. But that's a lot cheaper than going into a whole manufacturing business. How far away is the US patent, do you think, granting? I have to wait about another six weeks for information back on that. When do you think you'll be granted the patent? I'd say it will be in the next three to four months. So, John, I'd like to make you an offer. The offer is contingent on a couple of things. Contingent on a US patent. Right. And contingent on you agreeing to go to the licensing route as opposed to the get into the suitcase manufacturing route. I can help you in the US market once we have line of sight to that US patent. I can help you with the tech side of it to expand just beyond. Yeah you know, the simple weighing scales simple to thing, yeah. much more smart applications. But there is a lot of risk here. Right, yeah. My offer is 100,000, the full amount, for 40% of the company. Right. Thanks. So let's see if there's any other Thank offers. Thank you, yeah. I'd like to show you this one here, if I can just show you a quick flash. Yeah, go on here, yeah. please, yeah. This one here. That one lights up. As John considers Barry's offer, his fellow dragons take another look at the features on the prototype suitcase. I actually see this as being the weighing thing is really just the start of it. To me, the whole yeah. smart case technology piece and, yes. and how that could be developed. I think you need a dragon that will help you on that route rather than simply focusing on the weighing bit. Right. And I'm not that dragon. I don't have that, that technological um, yeah. background. Barry clearly does. So for that reason, I'm out. Thank you. Thank you very much. John, Barry's made you a very good offer, but contingent on the US patent, which is totally understandable. But the other condition was that you wouldn't bring it to the market yourself. Yeah. Uh, are you happy with that? Yeah, I wouldn't bring it to the market myself. Um, I would be happy enough, yeah. yeah. Okay. John, I, I think it's great, and I'd love to think that uh, this technology was on every major suitcase manufacturer across the world, and it saw the light of day on Dragon's Den, and know, it's an yeah. Irish invention. It'd be marvellous. And like Alison, technology's not my space. Yes. And I really think Barry's the guy yeah. to take you there. Thank so you. I'm out. Thank you. I would agree with Barry. I think I wouldn't fund a suitcase manufacturing business, but I would fund a technology business. I think Barry's getting it too cheaply. <laughs> it's not my core skill. So I'm just going to have a little think about it. Yes. John's self-weighing invention could be the future of luggage technology. He's still considering Barry's offer of €100,000 for 40%, but is aiming about to make a better one. I'd be prepared to, on the same basis uh, that Barry outlined about uh, licensing and the US patent being confirmed, to give you 100000 for 30% of the business. 30%, thanks very much. John and David, um I think Barry's going to have to counter that offer in a moment, but that's uh, Barry's call. Everybody says Barry is the person for you. Uh, I believe Eamon is equally as good, but uh, I hear what my fellow dragons are saying, so I'm going to drop out. I'm out. Thanks very much. Do we have a chat? Yes, of course. Is that your offer, Barry? You're leaving at a 40? Yeah, yeah, I'd like you guys to think about... You have two offers. Think about both, see what you think. 
Can, can we ask, would you two work together? So we get two for the price of one. If you're ma making sausages, I'd work with Eamon, but this is tech, so. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm chairman of, of a, a temperature management company that uh, has a lot of tech involved in it, so. Because Barry and Eamon recognise the potential for global success with John's invention, they are not willing to work together. They've both offered the full amount, but Barry is looking for 40% and Eamon 30. Will John try to negotiate them back to his original 20%? Please, Eamon, um, is that, does, you can't work together. Not on this deal, on um, other deals, yeah, but this is... other deals, right. And can you come down on your, on your 40%? No. 35? Could you come 35? No, there's a huge risk here. Um, huge risk. And a lot of value I can add, so... I realise you spent a lot of time and yeah. sweat on this, but, you know, I think the value I can add and the risk that's involved, I think my offer is fair. So, look, I, I think you have two good offers. Yeah. You need to decide what's important for you. I think you win either way. It's a hard decision. Um... Um, I don't know what to do now. I, I need to ask you, are you going to give me 40% of your company or not? Right, 40%, yeah. Can we go by? Thanks, good man. Thanks a lot. Yeah, that's great. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Oh, God, that's tough going, isn't it, in there? Wow, Barry, probably the best deal ever done in the den for a dragon, but I also feel good for, for John. No matter what choice he makes, I think we all we all win. And unfortunately, in this case, I won and Eamon lost, which uh, I'm quite <laughs> happy about. But imagine in the next couple of years, this chip could be in every single suitcase that's manufactured. I mean, that wouldn't that be an incredible result to come out of the Absolutely. dragon's den? John, well done. Did you enjoy that? I did indeed. Brilliant, yes. Was it harder or easier than you expected? Harder than I expected. Now, you got an offer from Barry, then an offer came from Eamon. Yeah. You went down the back uh, with David to have yeah. a think about it. What were you saying to each other? Oh, I was saying to David, which of them do you think is the best to go with? And both of them are good. I'd love to have both of them. But you couldn't afford both of them. So that's where I went with Barry. I thought his experience in the States would come out on top. Have you got more interesting yeah. inventions coming inside your head there? I have three or four good ones, yeah. Well, congratulations yeah. and well done. The very right, best right. of luck with it. Thank you. Good man. Thank well you. Man. Man.